Hello, my name is Charles Severance. Welcome to my Getting Started with Android Studio podcast, screencast. Um, and so there's a few things you're going to have to download. We're uh, going to be playing with uh, Android Studio on uh, Windows. I'm using Windows 7. I hope it's uh, similar enough. Um, something that you'll probably want to install right away. Uh, this this is the Intel Hardware uh, Acceleration uh, for the uh, the emulator that we'll be using. Uh, just try to install it. If it uh, refuses to install, that's okay. Everything will just be slower. Uh, the next thing you've got to do is install Java. You want a Java developer kit, not a Java runtime, but a Java developer kit. And um, so here's the page for the Java developer kit. You have to accept a license agreement. And then I, I used uh, the 32-bit, the x86 uh, 32-bit. Um, I never know quite what operating systems are using 32-bit and what are using 64-bit. So I always try to use 32-bit first, and then if something fails, I go use 64-bit. So I have done this. I've downloaded it. I have Java installed and running. Um, a quick way to test if you've got Java properly running is to uh, is to start the command prompt up and typed Java minus version. And this tells me I've got Java 1.8, which is exactly what I want. So I've got Java successfully installed. You can also I can also look at my control panel and find um, programs. Programs and uh, see here, I'll zoom this up a bit. See, see here, I've got Java 8 and the Java Development Kit, right? You can have Java, but I got the Java Development Kit. And what I did on mine is I got rid of all the earlier versions of Java, and then I installed a fresh Java 8 Development Kit, downloaded it, and installed it. So I've got Java installed. Um, I'm running on an emulator, so I couldn't run this, so that part of mine will be a little bit slow. Um, and then I've in downloaded Android Studio. Now there is two Android software development kits. Uh, this is the newer one. It's the more fun one, uh, and it's a little uh, it'll easier to use. So I've also installed that as well. And so that's been downloaded and that's installed. And so the fact that that's installed, I should be able to start up Android Studio. So I've got all those things installed. So I'm going to Android Studio, and you will probably see this exact error message that I saw. No JV installation. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so what is it really saying? So we're going to go take a look at our computer here. And somewhere I'll go to my hard drive, make this a little bigger. Make this a little bigger, I said. Program files, scroll down. Do, 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 find. Java, JDK 1.8, C colon backslash program file slash Java. Let's pull this over here. Um, then you go start, control panel. And the easiest thing to do is type environment variables here. E-N-V-I-R-R-O-N-M-E-N-T. Edit the system environment variables right here. These are the environment variables, system variables, okay? So I'm going to add one, and I'm going to call this Java underscore home. Exactly what it told us to do in that little, put this little message up so you remember what the message was. Java home, and then what it wants is the path to this folder c colon backslash program files backslash java backslash jdk 1.8.0 okay 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 so if all is well we should be able to say okay here and then we should be able to close this close this and let's just see if this little guy will start up. Much better. She starts up. Happy little Android Studio. And that's good news. So we're going to do a new project. And um, I don't know. 
I'll call my application Hello World. Why not? And I'm going to call myself um, edu.umish csev hello kind of a package name I'll call my app hello so I'll do that um, and it's gonna store it here uh, I don't know what this crap means but uh, close enough for government work let's just try it see what happens click next uh, image clip art text uh, I don't know that looks good enough for me bang uh, I think I'm going to use a full screen activity and I'll create that. Uh, yeah, I think I like that. Okay, so that took a little while. I sort of uh, trimmed it. Um, you're going to get asked these questions about Windows Firewall, and you just got to say yes to all these things. Um, so I'm just going to say yes to all these things. I'm not smart enough to, uh, to say no to these things and know what it really means, so I'm going to just allow access. Asks me again. I allow access again. Okay, so here we go. Here is my Android Studio. I don't need these tips. Got it. Now this is a little slow. My whole thing is a little slow. This, but your computer might be slower. I'm running this on a emulator. So uh, it literally took 12 minutes while I was watching this little spinner spin while I was doing something. I don't know how fast it's going to be on yours, but be patient. Just go get a cup of coffee, do something else. But I believe we're at the point where it's sort of happily updated itself. So there's just a couple things to look at here. Um, it's One of the things that's nice about this studio is it's got this design mode and uh, we can do something like say stick a button on right let's uh, let's put a button on put a button and um, put it right here no that's not what I want I want to put a button but no there's my new button sorry I got another new button no I ended up with two buttons because I was going too fast okay well that's okay I'm going to double click on this button and I'm going to call it Chuck Button. So there we go. So that one's called Chuck Button. I don't know where this guy is. Can I move him? Can I delete him? I can't seem to do anything to him. Um, so I'll learn more about how to do that. Just want to get something here that's like about me. And then the other thing is there's the background code, which is the Java code. So this is a front UI, and then this is a Java. This is Java code, and so here is Java code that is the background for here, and so we're going to find this on create method, and we're going to add a line, a debugging line, system.out.println, hello world, Chuck, severance and then have a semicolon after it. So we have now, and I will save that. I 
hit Command S to save it. And now we are going to run it by clicking on this Run button. So I've changed the JavaScript and I've changed the user interface. See, I've got the Chuck button. I can't get rid of a new button. I'll figure out how to get rid of that later. Now we're going to actually start the emulator. This is its own bit of trickiness. So here we go. Start the emulator. Okay, so I need to create an emulator. So I'm going to go here. So I don't have any Android virtual devices, so I'm going to make one. I'm going to make this be the a Nexus 4. Got to give it a name. Just click a few things. Uh, say used host GPU, that speeds it up a lot. Looks like I should give it like, I'm going to give it 512 RAM. And I'm going to say OK. OK, so I've got this guy. Now, I, I can start this guy from right here. But I think I'm going to close this. And I'm going to choose the Nexus 4. And I'm going to launch this. So now you see that our IDE is waiting for the device. There we go. Up she comes. So what happens now is this guy is starting. He's booting. It's a virtual device and it's pretty slow. This is itself going to take a while. And sometimes they even like connect to the network and upgrade themselves. So at this point you're going to just be really patient and let this run for a while. Okay, so at some point you will get to the point where your uh, Nexus is up. Uh, it's entirely likely that something went wrong um, over here at this point in time because your uh, IDE wasn't, you know, wasn't able to talk because your emulator took so long to come up. But that's okay. So um, I'm going to click here to go to my applications. And here's my applications. And um, so what I'm going to do is once I've got this emulator running, I'm going to leave it right here. And then I am going to hit the run job again. And it's going to sort of compile my thing and now it sees that I've got an emulator that's actually running and it's in good spot so that's a much better situation so it, you just, it's like the emulator has to be up it doesn't have the the, the Android thing does, the studio doesn't have the patience so now we're gonna start talking let's see if it's gonna actually be able to stick our program inside of it it's really making a connection to the emu Android emulator at this point So let's come over here and click on the Android emulator and watch what it's doing Go to the menu here. Okay, okay. There we go. Look at this. It's starting. I don't want that. Don't worry too much. There's some mistakes that happen. It's coming up. And there we are. There's our application. And if you look close enough here, ah. Well, if you look in here, you will actually find in this log, and I've got my screen so small that you really can't see it, but that system out println comes out in this log, and our button is got chuck button. So I screwed up and I put an extra new button there, but you get the basic idea. And the basic idea is to get to the point where you've got a, you can take a screenshot of your thing with your name in it and uh, your name in the log, and uh, and we will call that good. Um, but the key is, is you got to remember that uh, you, you key is you got to remember that you have to be very very patient for this. And there are parts where you sit and wait at times for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, thanks a lot.